Can you hear me? Okay. My name is Ben Hernandez, and Danny, along with Bill, raise your hand. Bill, raise your hand. There we go. So we have been best friends since the fourth grade, and that's over 24 years now. Um, now we've grown up together, attending elementary school through college, attached at the hip the whole time. And make no mistake, Danny is a dear friend. He's family to us. But as a person of high character and moral fiber, I have a responsibility to tell the truth about who he really is. Mary, I'm sorry that this information didn't arrive in time for you to make an informed decision. Yeah. Danny, my apologies. This isn't personal. <laughs> so here's the thing, um, Danny was a very naughty child and young adult, and in all candor, his turnaround come from behind story in overcoming these behavioral challenges to become the man he is today is truly one of life's unexpected surprises. <laughs> he was always gifted with deep intellect, but it could be said that early on, Danny lacked ambition. <laughs> And so I actually did a lot of research on this. I'm really proud of what I found. So <laughs> memorialized on page 272 of our senior yearbook, Danny wistfully noted, and I quote, senior year is just like kindergarten. Every period is time for a nap. <laughs> Apparently, he wasn't a pacifist either. While on page 94, teammate Richard Sin discussed how wrestling was a good way to relieve stress without actually hurting anyone, Danny just didn't see it that way. And I quote, wrestling is fun because you get to hurt people. <laughs> Who'd have thought he'd dedicate his life to putting people back together on their worst day? <laughs> This is my favorite. So. so for senior year superlatives, while Daniel Wilcox was voted the most likely to win the Nobel Prize and Cliff Merrill was voted most likely to be the next Bill Gates, Danny's classmates bestowed him with the less coveted Peter Pan Award for the person most likely to never grow up. I thought that was a bit harsh. I mean... Who doesn't get caught by the police off-roading and doing wheelies on an elementary school playground? <laughs> While college presented a reawakening period for Danny, it would be amiss to not mention how he almost lost him to World of Warcraft. I kid you not, Danny, or King Dano, as he was known by his internet friends, didn't leave his door for two years. To be fair, he did rise to become a level 60 Torn warrior. <laughs> level 60. <laughs> it's... 70, level 70, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, in spite of this, in all honesty, I'm not surprised at all at how he's risen to such heights. I'm sincerely proud of the person he's become and of all his accomplishments, with the greatest being you, Mary. And, Mary, here's what I really want to tell you. <laughs> now, this is the nice part. So, Danny is one of the kindest people I know, caring deeply about others, often before himself. He's fiercely loyal, always there for you when you need him. And I've experienced this firsthand. On the first day of school in fourth grade, I remember being terrified. I had just moved to Maryland um, and didn't know anyone. And while Bill, who was the most popular school person in elementary school, came up to me and said, Ben, you're cool, but too bad nobody likes you. That's true. <laughs> okay, that's a true story. Danny, <laughs> Danny came up to me, and I'll always remember these words, and he goes, Hi, my name is Danny. Will you be my friend? Aww. That act of kindness led to a lifetime of friendship, and while small, it was exactly what I needed at that moment in my life. Since then, Danny has always had my back, 
And the best way I can describe this is through a childhood game we used to play with my dog, Coco. <laughs> oh, no. In this game, we would build a Coco fort, a towering structure made of pillows, blankets, and couch cushions. Oh, Danny, yeah. would, Danny and I would then hide in the fort and start shaking a jar full of dog treats, which would trigger a Pavlovian bloodlust response in Coco, who would start attacking our fort, trying her best to topple it to get a treat. In moments like these, it was Danny and I against the world. He had my back, and against the odds, we fought together against whatever life threw at us. Whether it was Coco, problems at home or at school, Danny held true to our Coco fort, having my back when I needed it most. These are the qualities which have made him a great friend. They're also the qualities which will make him a great husband. While things may have come easy to him at school or at work, I know for a fact that he's worked hard to be the man you deserve. He loves you deeply, and even after 24 years of friendship, only after seeing you two together have I come to understand who he truly is. And while I don't know what life may bring, I do know that in your marriage you will experience moments of joy, sadness, and uncertainty. But rest assured, Mary, for you picked the right man to build your own cocoa fort with. Aww. He'll be there for you, will fight for you, and will protect your fort against the world. I'm so happy for the both of you and grateful to have you in my life. Cheers.